the museum gang. Their hangout is the Barenti Museum and the old water tower in the backyard. At the helm is Katie, their chilled out queen. She's only worn the crown for two years and doesn't seem too concerned with keeping her gang in line. Her main preoccupation is Maya, her weak old infant. Taking a cue from their leader, the museum gang lemurs aren't so serious about politics. There's less patrolling or squabbling about status and more time spent relaxing. No one is more relaxed than adult male Morris. In the museum gang hierarchy, Morris is near the bottom because he's male. The ring-tailed lemur society is strictly matriarchal. The lowest ranking female is still above the highest ranking male. And Morris is the lowest of the low. Like all males, he's supposed to be guarding the territory. Instead, he's showing off. He smears his tail with smelly secretions from his wrist glands then wafts it at whoever's nearest. If it's a male, it's known as stink fighting. If it's a female, it's stink flirting. But when Morris does it, it's just irritating. While Katie's reign might seem carefree, she's under the same pressure as Crystal. Her museum gang needs food. It's five months into the dry season. Rain is at least four more weeks away and forest food is in short supply. For the adult lemurs, it's the toughest time of year. Mothers have it especially hard. They must suckle their babies through these weeks of scarcity. But by synchronizing their births to the season, they guarantee their youngsters will wean just as the rain comes and the trees bear fruit. Right now, Katie needs to find food for her museum gang to ensure the infant's survival. If she fails, she won't be queen for long. <laughs> 